Kim, would you please speak from your heart and repeat the following to your bride? Jill, my love. Jill, my love. All that I am. All that I am. I give to you. I give to you. Body and mind. Body and mind. Heart and soul. Heart and soul. Please accept this gift. Please accept this gift. I love you. I love you. Yes. Jill, would you please speak from your heart and repeat the following to your groom? Tim, my love. All that I am, I give to you. Body and mind, heart and soul. Please accept this gift. I love you. Words tenderly spoken in from your heart. Now you have chosen as a token of your vows to give and receive rings. Now I have the bride's ring. Wonderful. The ring is a symbol of marriage in many ways. Let me mention several. First of all, when you wear this ring, it will be a statement to everyone else, I'm already spoken for, I'm already taken, I belong to another in the best sense of belonging. The second I'll mention, when you wear this ring, it will be a reminder of this day and these words that you're speaking to one another. This is a sacred time and sacred vows that you're taking. Also, I must say, this third has to do with the composition of the ring, precious materials. I must say the most magnificent composition. These diamonds, this platinum, these are special materials. They're, they're precious. They symbolize the preciousness of the love that you share. Tim, in just a moment, I'll ask you to place the ring on your bride's finger. Before you place the ring, would you please repeat the following to your bride? Jill, with this ring. Jill, with this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life and love to you. And love to you from this day forward. From this day forward. Jill, do you accept this one who has pledged? Well, I'll let me get it out. <laughs> do you accept this one who has just pledged? Okay. Of course, we knew what you were going to say. <laughs> we hope. All right. Wonderful. May I have a drink? Equally wonderful. A bit larger in diameter, but no more important. All of the same symbols apply. Jill, in just a moment, I'll ask you to place the ring on your groom's finger. Before you place the ring, would you please repeat the following to your groom? Tim, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you from this day forward. Tim, do you accept this one who has pledged her life and love? I definitely do. All right. You may place the ring. Wonderful. Well, it was so great uh, hearing your love story. I love writing the poem. But when we met together, you also told me that you are soulmates. And if that is true, and I certainly believe it is, and words could describe what it means to be a soulmate, they might sound something like this. From the beginning of time, you were one. Just two halves of a whole, wandering through eternity, sharing the same time and the same space, being in perfect harmony, waiting for now. And now has arrived. Don't you agree? Would you join me as we pray? Thank you, God, for this couple. For every person, event, and circumstance that has brought them to this place on their journey, may they continue to celebrate one another in all of life. In the name of the one who gave them life in the beginning and who sustains them now. Amen. Well, Jill and Tim, in the presence of these witnesses, by the authority of God and the laws of this state, I declare that you are a husband and wife, and you may now seal your union with a kiss. Oh, you've been practicing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Timothy James Gorman. <laughs>